If you want to see the biggest show in Chicago this weekend, just look to the skies. Preparations underway for the annual Air and Water Show, and more than a million people expected to flock to the lakefront. Mike Lowe there early with a good seat. Hello, Mike. Hey, Ben, good afternoon to you. It was a beautiful day out here on the lakefront as pilots and boat captains ran through the entire Chicago Air and Water Show for more than five hours here under beautiful blue skies. The overwhelming sights and sounds of the Chicago Air and Water Show top side and bottom side just may bring you to your knees. It's the Friday before the formal show, and it offers spectators a full rehearsal of what they'll see this weekend. It's kind of the best or worst kept secret, depending on how you say it. Show spokeswoman Amy Hickey says this year's headliners include the show-stopping U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds, making their first appearance in Chicago since 2018. During COVID, they actually revamped their show, and so this is actually a brand new show for everyone to see. I'm just out here just enjoying the show and I love the seeing the view. One to two million people are expected to view the show from lakefront chairs or from rooftops around the city this weekend. Colin Murphy of Edison Park brought his sons to the rehearsal. The group comes out and it's it's actually pretty cro more crowded than it is normally for a practice. I like when the helicopters pass. That was pretty cool. Um, it's pretty cool. It's kind of crazy how they do it. And it's even cooler when the Thunderbirds or jet fighters rumble and whoosh. Head. What was that like? Oh, it was really loud. Really loud, and it is also free to everyone this weekend. It'll uh, kick off tomorrow at 10:30 and go till 3 o'clock. That's the same hours on Sunday. And city officials tell us if you're planning to come to the lakefront, you should probably take public transportation to avoid all the congestion on the outer drive. Reporting live from North Avenue Beach, Mike Lowe, WGN News. Thank you, Mike.